We are being live streamed. Welcome, everybody. It is team night. It is, oh, where'd my flag go? I always have a champion flag. Where'd it go? It fell down. Hold on. <laughs> it is champion team night. This is where we get together. Um, your top leaders are always sharing with you on how to help you grow your business, how to be successful, how to make it great for you. So let's get this party started. <laughs> I'm Loretta, by the way. I will be covering for, for Pam Cliff tonight, who's down in Atlanta with her family. So, um, and that's the beauty of this business. All right. We all work together. We are better together. Okay, guys. And yes, sometimes you can do things on your own, but it's so much better when you have friends along your side that support you and encourage you. Because uh, you know what? We need everyone on this team night. Because when you're having a great great month or a great week and you're having success, we want you on to share. And if you're not having a great month, great week, then you need to be on so you can get motivated. Okay. All right. So let's, um, I'm going to start sharing the screen here. You know what? Do that. We're going to go screen number two. <laughs> All right. And we're going to get this up there. All right. Who can, what is happening? Um, seeing buttons that I don't need to see. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome, welcome. It is team night, pressure's on. We've got a great special going on with our current February flyer. We have, what day is today? Today's the 10th, one, one, almost two weeks, okay? All right, uh, left in the sales. So we're gonna bring the pressure on tonight to help you um, have those awesome sales, okay? And have a strong month of February. And uh, I just want to share with you that every Thursday is team night. All right, be on here. And so after the team night, uh, we post out there, what are your ahas? What are your takeaways? What did you learn? Share that with the group, all right? Um, get them excited and um, to go watch it if they, if they missed it, okay? So Jenny, yep, Jenny's got the uh, magic randomizer. <laughs> Random remember yeah, that that's one. That's what I have. Hang on a minute because I'm I'm having a hard time pulling that up. I I really do have it though. She does. You guys all know she's been doing this. I do. Before. I do. I just can't seem to find the right list. Okay, there it is, right there. And so from last week's team night, we had the winner of. Oh, this is funny. Carrie Rubicki. Oh, that's yes. Great. No. <laughs> All right, Carrie. Congratulations, Carrie. Carrie, you did a great job. And uh, a great theme, guys, is to have a workshop um, and to share. Pe people want this. I mean, that's everywhere out there. Um, every time I'm, I'm part of all kinds of like food recipe clubs and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, it's tips on this, tips on that, workshops here, you know, how to's, they love that kind of stuff. So incorporate that. You don't have to call it a party. So thank you so much for sharing, Carrie. I was going to say whoever won, if they're on, they could share what they said, but that's okay. <laughs> right. Actually, Carrie's, Carrie's um, aha was about Ellen's power of one. So uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, guys, power of one. If you didn't get a chance to watch that, I highly recommend you go back and find mm -hmm. the February tonight. No. Okay. So for you, um, guys, I've been in this 27 years <laughs> and I come every Thursday. And before it used to be on Mondays and I would come every Monday. And before, then it was on Tuesdays and I would come every Tuesday, all right? I go to all these because the new people always have something new. They have a fresh perspective. I'm always learning. Don't stop learning, okay? So join us every Tuesday, I mean, every Thursday. <laughs> and on Mondays for leaders and future leaders, all right? Talk to your upline director if you are like, you know what, I think I want a little bit more. I want to see what this is all about. And you're thinking about being a future leader, you know, contact us. We'll get you hooked into this. You can be on this, okay? They break it out. And so the leaders, the current leaders are in one group and then the future leaders are in another with amazing training. And Jenny, do we have a winner for the ahas here? We do. We have Christine Walker. Christine Walker. Is Christine Walker on? Well, maybe she is, but maybe she's not. <laughs> All right, congratulations, Christine Walker. Remember, if you're a winner, you need to Facebook message. Are we going to have the message, Pam, or you? Um, we are going to have the message, Pam. Okay. All right. You are going to Facebook message, Messenger, um, Pam Clift, your address. Let Say, hey, I won the aha for XYZ, and here's my address so that she does not have to go around looking and all that kind of stuff. All right. You don't send the address, you might not get your gift. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> 
All right, guys, hot topics on Monday nights. All right, I think it's the second, third, and fourth Monday nights. We have hot topics. And this last one was, I believe, the March sample release, right? Yes. Yes, yes. Don't miss that one. Um, Amy and Jessica, they do a great job of giving you what's coming up in the next month so you can get ready. All right. So you can be prepared and get ready for your events coming up in March. All right. We have an aha? We have an aha. We have a bunch of ahas on there. Kids, okay. The kids things were a real big, big one yes. on that one. And we have... Amanda Phillips was Amanda Phillips. On that Congratulations, one. Amanda Phillips. Way, way to go. Don't forget, Facebook message Pam, your address. All right. And then, so uh, so that is Monday, guys. So you've got training on Monday nights, whether you're a leader. Uh, the nine, the nine o'clock um, um, hot topics is for everybody, every single person. If you're a leader, get your team on there. Okay. Imagine if your team members were watching all these trainings, were we're taking these trainings in and they they started recruiting or they started selling. How would you feel as a leader? Okay. All right. Um, speaking of which, great training, great way to bring your parties to see live demos of our products by your top leaders. Okay. And so we, uh, every Tuesday at eight o'clock, we have a cooking show. People love cooking shows, you know, copy that link. It's on our student. Well, it used to be called Studio Page. It's on our Cooking with Champion or Cooking with Tupperware page. <laughs> anyway, that's a public page. So that's easy for you to share and pop it right into your groups, into your parties, into your events, all right? Or to share it with a friend. Okay, we have an aha here, Jenny. We do, and it is Sudi Foster. Sudi Foster, I know Sudi. Well, I don't know, know her, but I know her. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Sudi, congratulations for uh, being part of the cooking um, with Tupperware. I think it was all about sweet treats or something like that, right, guys? <laughs> it was. It was good. All right. And on Wednesdays, this is new. And this um, every Wednesday, Ellen has uh, blessed us with her amazing interviews of top champions. All right. Um, and this is a great recruiting tool. Okay. Share this in your VIP groups and share this with a friend, uh, copy that link to them or get them on live. Um, this is a great way to see how people across the nation. Okay. Um, are part of our team here at champion and having great success and how they did it, um, why they're with it. And, and so there, and, and Ellen's an amazing interviewer guys, if you haven't seen her yet do this, um, I definitely recommend this and I definitely recommend you share this and listen to it yourself. Okay. You're always learning. All right. We have an aha winner. Yeah. You know what else I really like about this yeah. is because we don't get together anymore and because we are so far apart, it's a really good way to get to know the people that are on champion now. Cause some of these people I have never met and at the rate I'm going may never meet, but this is a really good way to get to know them because yeah, but we don't get together every more every week anymore. So I love it. Yeah. Yeah. We and Vicki Cochran. Vicki, congratulations, Vicki. And I agree totally with that, Jenny. It's a great way to meet our fellow champions, okay? Um, and sometimes, guys, you just don't know. You just don't know what's going on in someone's background, okay? They may look happy, cheery, everything's going great on Facebook, but maybe there's something else going on in the background. Those interviews really help share how they are real people, just like you and me, with real issues going on in their lives and still making it happen with their business. All right, what else we got going on? All right, guys, pressure's on. We've got the February flyer. We have the pressure cooker highlighted, okay? They always have some type of a premium product or a premium set that's really gonna help um, uh, bring your sales in and, and, and grow your business, okay? So right now we're featuring the pressure cooker, all right? The pressure cooker is $149, but when they purchase that this month, all right, they're gonna get the soup bowls um, free. Okay, so I'm gonna stop share for a minute and just share with you some of the features and benefits of our pressure cooker. Okay, all right, so this is our pressure cooker right here. Okay, dun, 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 dun. if you don't have one and you're in your 13 weeks confident start program, you could get this for free. I don't know what level it's on, but it's one of the level choices, okay? So the pressure cooker, Honestly, you know, if you say pressure cooker, some people might think, um, oh man, that's that giant contraption grandma used to have and things used to blow up. <laughs> I don't know what visions come to your head, but I like to call it the uh, pressure cooker on speed. Actually, I call it the slow cooker on speed. 
So, so when I'm doing my demonstrations, okay, I like to call it the slow cooker on speed. We're gonna take the power of the microwave and combine it with pressure and actually cook your food with that pressure created from this, okay? It has been highly tested in our research department down in Orlando, Florida, okay? All right, and sorry guys, I'm sitting at my desk, so when I put this down, you don't see it, all right? So I'll go like this a lot, okay? So it has several safety features, okay? That was foremost with Tupperware to always make sure everything is safe, 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 all right? So you have the cover here, and you see those arrows right there? There's your cover, okay, there's your cover, and there's an arrow. You see the arrow? And there is an arrow right, uh, right there. So you're gonna line up, okay, <laughs> do this. This little handle right here, make sure it's not pushed all the way down or you can line up those arrows and, not, and still not make this work, okay? So make sure that handle is lifted up and not in the lock position. So you're gonna, you line up the two arrows, okay? And you're gonna twist it so the handles now match. This is hard to do in the air. <laughs> But you can do it, all right? There we go. All right, so now the handles are, are uh, aligned, okay? And then you can lock this into place, all right? So it is locked in. Now, let me show you where those safety features come into play. One, highly important, probably the most important is this ring right here, okay? This ring right here, make sure it is in place right there. Um, this is dishwasher safe. Uh, we recommend that you wash it by hand. It doesn't take much to wash this out, okay? I do put this part in the dishwasher. I do wash all this, this stuff right here um, by hand because <laughs> one of the safety little features is this little valve right here, this little black valve right here. And it's actually underneath the handle here, okay? All right. And this little black plug, I guess from washing or whatever, somehow disappeared, but I didn't realize that. And I'm running my pressure cooker and I'm making a recipe and, and nothing's happening. This little valve's not popping up and I'm checking everything. And I'm like gonna order a new piece. I don't know how I finally figured it out, okay? Well, I have two pressure cookers and I was analyzing them both. And I noticed this little black tab right here was missing. Very important. It can't create pressure with all those safety valves in place, all right? So make sure you're checking this little valve here and the little valve underneath. And then really, really important is this little guy, okay? This guy right here, make it a T, put it upside down, all right? So that when the pressure does, drop it back in there. When the pressure builds, okay, it's not gonna pop out, right? You gotta make sure that T is on the bottom, on the inside part, okay? So when this starts cooking, all right, creating that pressure, this little valve is gonna pop up, like that little butter ball on the turkey. <laughs> Right there, okay, yay. All right, little buzzer goes off your microwave, take it out, place it on top of your counter, and you must wait for this little pressure valve to fully um, release and, and be all the way in the down position, okay? All right, please do that. Now, some of us inpatient people might try to rush the process. I will share with you, it's okay, but you might hurt yourself. Don't know how. <laughs> um, but the other thing is, you're not gonna finish cooking your food. Okay, that pressure release actually is going to finish the cooking process. So let it go, let it finish, go do something, go set the table, make a solid, whatever you need to do, okay? And let that pressure fully release. Now, even though the pressure has been released here, there is still pressure in here. So when you open it, okay, you're gonna have this in a lock position. You're gonna unlock this handle, okay? Tupperware actually recommends you use uh, oven mitts, okay? Because it does get hot. But when you release this, you're gonna make sure you're opening this, oh, what, I'm in a lock position, okay. That you open this away from your face, okay? Away from your face. Because if you do it this way, you're gonna get a steam facial that's pretty hot, okay? So make sure you're releasing the steam this way, okay? I am telling you, this is gonna get seasoned just like, like your other, wonderful cookware, okay? And there is a maximum fill line. You really do wanna stay right at that fill line that's inside of here, okay? You want to have plenty of liquid, all right? I've had a lot of people tell me my food's dry or whatever, it's a, you know coming out really weird. It's because they don't have enough liquid. Your meat, if you're having meat, needs to be under the liquid, okay? One of my favorites is the chicken um, 
barbecue, which I'll show you here in a second. So those are the features and benefits of your pressure cooker. You've got lots of safety features here. Please make sure all those valves are in place before you um, start cooking with it. I highly recommend, again, washing the cover. Oh, when you store it, do not store it in the sealed locked position, all right? You're going to trap all those odors in there. And not just your, your pressure cooker, but any of your Tupperware bowls. You don't seal them and put them away if there's nothing in them. Um, they're going to, they're going to, the odors are going to build up in there. You need to let them breathe. So when you store this in your cabinet, turn this upside down so it's airing out and set this on top and you can put things inside of it. And now it's going to stay nice for you and, and space efficient and it's going to breathe and let those um, wonderful flavors <laughs> dissipate. All right, so that is our pressure cooker here tonight. And let me go back to the share really quick and see what's happening next. All right. Okay, um, dum, 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 dum. Hey, I think we've got, look at this. Nancy loves to cook. Nancy, 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 can you share what's going on in your uh, kitchen tonight with your pressure cooker? Okay. Hi, everybody. Um, I'm Nancy Lagan, and I do love to cook. It is my passion. It always has been. Now, this pressure cooker is one of the first ones we had, so it's a little different color. It works exactly the same way. Loretta, your demo was great on that because I don't have to demonstrate anything because she told you all about it. So what I've done in here tonight is really a great recipe. Super, um, Super Bowl is Sunday. And so you want something quick, but you don't want to have to spend a lot of money. So if you take three to four chicken breasts, uh, skinless and boneless chicken breast, and then what you're going to do, I'm going to open this so I can show you because I've already cooked this so that you can see the finished product. Um, and then you take two cups of barbecue sauce, any kind that you have in the, your pantry, anything that you love, two cups of barbecue sauce. And I don't measure, I just kind of dump. And so you put the chicken breasts in first, and then you put the two cups of barbecue sauce in, and then you use about three quarters of a can of beer. And the reason is the beer takes the barbecue sauce to a more liquid state because you want to make sure that this liquid is completely covering your chicken. And the best part is you always have a little beer left so you can have a drink, okay? Just when you're doing a demo, um, don't drink the beer first and then pour the rest in. Make sure you pour the beer in and then drink their little rest because that's not too cool. But anyway, so I'm going to show you this chicken. Now, this, um, these were just chicken breast, skinless and boneless. And I'm, this comes out, they come out amazing. And you can do a two, um, a little two pound pork roast as well, if you want. So you don't have to just do chicken if you don't like chicken. And I'm gonna shred this chicken and show you how really great this comes out. Now you could put this chicken in our supersonic extra and pull the cord and chop it all up. It'll shred it for you. But I just wanna show you how tender it is when it comes out. And I'm just, I don't know if you can, can you see that or no? I don't think you can see the chicken. I wanna pull this down a little bit. I wanna, there we go. Okay, so I wanna show you how easy this is to pull. And if you had a pulled pork in here, it would be the same way. And you just pull it apart like this. And then you can get little slider buns and put the chicken on it. Um, you can get regular buns. You could just put this on a salad, whatever. And it, it, did you see how tender this is? It's just moist and very tender. And then inside the liquid is really great. So you could pour the liquid back over your, um, your chicken and have it a little bit more juicy, or you can leave it just like this and then put it on a salad. It's great with some ranch dressing or whatever. And so if you did, and now these were small chicken breasts because I cut them in half, but if you did four big ones and then four more big ones, you would have a ton of pulled barbecue chicken for your guests on Sunday. So have fun, use your pressure cooker. It's a great, great product to have in your home and everybody needs it. Bye. Wow, Nancy, yum, yummy. I, that is one, that is like one of my go-to recipes when I'm like, oh my goodness, I don't have time, okay? It's that, awesome. Yeah, I, I put six chicken breasts in there, whole ones and, and a bottle of beer. Yeah, it's, it's great stuff. <laughs> and um, I love making the sliders with it. That's what we love to do. All right, I'm thinking there's some other people that, um, like to share and um angela angel robar what you got cooking in your kitchen tonight with our pressure cooker hi loretta i actually have chicken too 
Um, one of my favorite things to do in the pressure cooker is um, cook a whole chicken. <laughs> so there's so many different things that um, you can do with a whole chicken. You, know, you go into the grocery store, uh, when you go to Costco's, when you go to your lo um, local grocery store, Giant Eagle, they always have those rotisserie chickens and um, maybe your favorite chicken salad and um, all the different things that you just make with the chicken. You can even buy, I just saw the other day at Costco, you can get the um, pre-packaged, like shredded already cooked chicken that are just like the chicken breast, but it's already like shredded up and everything. So you can use it to make your chicken salad and sandwiches and whatever but it's so good. It's always best to eat fresh, right? <laughs> so it's so easy to buy those little fryer chickens and you can do it right inside of the pressure cooker. It's super simple and easy. And I actually left my can over here. Let me grab it really quick. Um, so it's two ingredients. It's the whole fryer chicken and chicken broth. That's it. <laughs> so you just take your chicken out and um, you rinse it off just like you would a turkey at you know, um, when you're making your turkey. So I take it out, rinse it real good in the sink, and then you put it right down inside of there. And then it took me about one and a half cans of, I use the Swanson. You can use any can, or you can use the little, you know, cardboard or those little square, or, you know, rectangle, peel the top things and pour it in there. And, um, but it was one and about a half, one and three quarters. And then you pour it on here to that fill line. And yeah, the chicken's going to stick up a little bit above that, but look what happened. It like browns it on the top and look how perfect and delicious it is. And I'm going to show you guys, because I haven't touched it yet, but, um, it, it did have a little bit of time to cool off, but look at this, look how like pull apart tender that is. I don't know if you guys saw that, but I just pulled the whole, I'm gonna pull it up closer so you guys can see it, but do you see that? Look how tender that is. It just fell off of the bone. And so when you're making chicken paprikash, when you're making, um, you know, your chicken salads, when you're just wanting a good rotisserie chicken, when you're wanting a good home cooked meal, anything like that, this is literally 20, 25 minutes in the microwave. And this is absolutely delicious and perfect. You can have a really good home cooked meal right on the table. And uh, you don't even know how to have to know how to cook. So <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but anyway, but she, yeah. <laughs> hey guys, I mean, uh, from lasagnas, any of those slow, any of those eight hour, six hour crock pot recipes, you can adapt and adjust to fit in our pressure cooker. And that's what I do. I have all kinds of recipes. So let's just share a few more. Thank you, Angela. That was awesome. And I've never done a whole chicken in there. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it's that. It's so good. It's delicious. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so tender. Yes. It fell, we saw that it fell right off the bone. Yes. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, let me share my screen again. Dum, 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 dum. You guys getting some good ideas? Get some good, don't be afraid of the pressure cooker. Play around with it. All right. You need to play around with it. You're going to find your style. You're going to find your, 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 um, your, your groove. <laughs> That's still a word. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to have fun tonight. All right. Look at Lori Morris. Lori Morris is cooking. She's cooking chicken dumplings tonight. Guys, if you're not part of the champion pressure cooker recipe, Facebook group, you need to join it. And you are free to, um, it's for your guests. It's for your friends, okay? If they buy this, I always tell them, hey, are you on Facebook? I'll add you to the pressure group, uh, cooker group, okay? Our customers can share recipes. You can share recipes there. There is 101 recipes out there. So go, um, go share. I don't remember if this one is one of them out there or not, but it is, okay? Uh, Lori's also cooking some chicken and orzo soup, okay? So soups in here um, are wonderful. Chilies are fabulous in here. I do chilies in here all the time. Turkey chili all the time. Um, she made some beef stew. This is ale and beef stew, of course, <laughs> for Lori. We got some ale and beef stew. We also have um, Jessica Gordon's son, EJ, made his own recipe. So you know what, guys? Once you get the hang of it, like I had to start off with recipes. I had to start off with recipes to understand cook time and everything. And then I started just like playing around and you can create your own, okay? 
look at this. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? I'm thinking that um, Jessica and EJ should do a little, should do this on a Tuesday night. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Yep, Jessica said she's happy to. She just needs somebody else to, um, what does she do on there? She, she does stuff on there. <laughs> <laughs> the gas she's oh she's watching the guests which is a big job so if somebody will take that for us she's happy to make this recipe on a tuesday night wouldn't your uh guests love this okay i have to share with you when i was sick back in october i don't know if the pressure cooker you guys use the pressure cooker a lot or was it the grill i don't remember but the director team guys we are better together the people cooking on those shows i had my customers go there they sold them grills they sold them the pressure cookers okay so thank you, thank you, thank you. So if you're not using our Tuesday night cooking shows, think about that. Think about a $149 order that might have been 20 bucks if they didn't see that, okay? Um, look at this. We've got, ooh, Jenny just made this tonight, right? Everything's busy, busy. And, you know, Jenny does a lot on Tuesdays. So they got to be able to make something quick for, for mom. <laughs> and this was uh, Jenny's beef stroganoff. Jenny, tell us real quick a little bit about it. This was super simple to make. You guys know it was super simple to make because I made it. Um, yeah, everything except the noodles went into the pressure cooker. And as soon as the pressure cooker got done, I took it out of the uh, microwave, put the noodles in the pasta maker. And by the time the noodles got done with their 10 minutes, the pressure had released from the pressure cooker, drained the noodles and everything was ready to go at the same time. It was fantastic. It was done at 630 and we were ready to go on the welcome chat at seven o'clock. I know because I was texting her going, I don't have a picture. And she's like, I'm making it right now. <laughs> and they had dinner, right? It's, it's amazing, guys. Love, love, love it. Beautiful. All right. Um, Christy Jackson loves making pot roast in her, uh, in her pressure cooker. Absolutely beautiful. Look at all those beautiful vegetables in there. See the broth covering up that meat. And so it'll keep it nice and juicy. Okay. Oops. What? I, this is the, uh, my version of the barbecue chicken. I love the Great Lakes Brewery. <laughs> Right, Jenny? <laughs> anyway, um, so I have my six whole chicken breasts in there with the beer, the barbecue, and, and like uh, Nancy said, I like to shred it and then I, with a fork, so it's not so chopped up. I like just shredding with a fork and I love putting it back in the juice and keeping it nice and moist and then making whatever you want with it. All right, um, so this is one of my uh, recipes I need to Tupperize. So once I get it Tupperized, I'll put the, the uh, recipe out there, guys. But this is a mock quinoa enchilada. My son loves it. Like I might, I probably rarely ever get leftovers with this one, okay? Uh, it's delicious. It's got a can of uh, black beans, corn, uh, cheese, and we accidentally used the slicer cone instead of the shredder cone. <laughs> I'm like, Mateo, what are you doing? <laughs> and I'm like, these chunks of cheese are coming out. And I said, don't worry about it. So then, of course, we use, look at all the Tupperware in this picture, guys. Okay. I'm using the Great Master. I'm using our spatula. I'm using our Madre Mates. I'm using our uh, salt and pepper shakers, our measuring uh, uh, spoons, our, our um, can opener, our freezer mates, our bowl impression lines. There's a lot in your cooking demo. So if you, if you don't like going live, at least post the pictures of, of it as you're making it. Okay. Um, you don't even have to be in the picture. I'm not in the picture. Okay. And use these in your parties. All right. Um, so with all those amazing sales, we've got some recognition. All right. Let's, let's see who rocked it. This is week two of February. This is the third through the ninth and in 10th position with 826, Michelle Doherty, number nine, Christine Walker, 833. We have number eight, Diane Smith. Congratulations, Diane, 868. We have Marianne Miller, 870. Num oops, no number six, Heaven Swick. Way, way to go, Heaven. We have number five, Becky Fick. I'm calling her Becky. Becky Fickleman, <laughs> 1,000, over 1,000 in one week, guys. Paula Berry, 1,078. Number three, Robin, whoop, whoop, 1,200. Way to go, Robin. That's one week, guys. And number two, we have Sarah Weaver at 1,333. And number one is Christy Greer. Way to go, Christy. Christy with another like 15 bucks. She hits 1,500 in a month. You get a personal volume bonus. Did you guys know that? So on top of your 25% at the end of the month, you want to hit 1,500 and higher because you start getting bonuses. And the bonus, the higher, you, the more you go past 1,500, the higher your personal volume bonuses on top of your 25% commission. 
All right, guys, let's check out our unit sales. These are all our managers to executive managers. Number 10, Angie Feist. Number nine, Paula Berry. Angela Neisel, number eight, Diane Smith, 1358. Robin, 1376. Hmm, instead of belt tumblers and zipper sales there. So <laughs> it takes, guys. Amy Beebe with 1400. Christy Sarah Harks, <laughs> 1600 with the team as an executive manager. Leanne Anderson, it, almost 2000 there in 1948. Number two, Christine Walker. And number one, Christy Gear, number one star manager. Uh, with $2,000 in one week with her team, okay? All right, guys, see, it's better together. All right, team sales. Teams are your directors. Directors uh, right here, team sales. Uh, PC Champs, if you're with Pam Clift, okay, number 10. Number nine, Lydia Sutliff, 2,000. Uh, Manel Franklin, 2,227. Number seven, Jessica Gordon, again, 2,233, a set of bell tumblers and super sales. <laughs> Okay, that's me and I'm at, yeah, I needed a set sold myself. <laughs> All right, number five, Lori Morris, uh, 2,289. Number four, Sarah Weaver. Number three, Deb Longgood at 3,361. Christy Jackson taking a vacation, 3,654. That's what I love about this. No one tells you when to take vacation, guys. You don't have to, have to ask off. You don't have to wait because you're, you know, low man on the pole. You take vacation when you want. You're the boss. And number one team, Ellen Lewis with Par Excellence at 3,967. Way to go, team sales. All right, org sales. Okay, these are all your leaders that have directors um, forming an organization. We have Melissa Tenney at number five. We have number four, Lydia Sutliff. We have number three, Amy Gardner. Way to go, Amy, at 6,674. And the rainbows were at 7,600. And number one, or 22,000. One week, guys, one week. And that's because there are lots of people working together. It just takes one, but everyone working together makes it happen, guys. All right, guys, starting tomorrow. Yep, tomorrow. There will be some new Tough Love offers. All right, if you have been on your personal websites, all right? If you see PWS, that means your personal website. That's where your customers go shopping. That's where you have your parties, um, uh, open links and everything. Um, there are going to be some new Tup Love offers. I love this. They've, they started back in November with the Black Friday stuff and then into December and then the January. And now we have Tup Love offers on your personal website. Got to go check them out. I, I check them out all the time because there's always some fun stuff out there. All right. And then... Um, Starting tomorrow for real <laughs> is a coffee carafe sale with the gorgeous, oh man, I don't have my tumbler up here. I'm, I always have one of those tumblers here. I brought it downstairs because um, to put in the sink. But anyway, um, love, love, love this. Okay. If you don't have the, the coffee carafe brewer, I use it all the time. There's one brewed all the time. And um, someone told me, I don't remember who it was, um, but two carafes fit in the clearly elegant pitcher. So I always have a clearly elegant pitcher of coffee in my fridge. Um, I actually took away my electric uh, coffee maker off my countertop, so I have more space. Um, I always have cold brew because it has less acidity, less bitterness. Um, it's just overall a little healthier for you. When it's cold and I want it hot, I just warm it up. It doesn't take long, okay? And I love these beautiful, uh, clearly elegant tumblers. So save $5 if you buy the coffee craft. But if you buy them together, the craft with the uh, tumblers, only $44. All right. Great sale. Starts at 3 p.m. So don't be telling us you can't order it. It's not there and it's not three o'clock yet. <laughs> All right, guys. <laughs> um, so with sales from Tupperware, if you're reading your party perks, okay, uh, we have monthly sales challenges for the whole month. 500 and up, you're going to earn the fridge stackables. I'm sorry, the freezer made stackables with your silicone spatula. So congratulations to everyone on this list already, okay, for 10 bucks. And then, oh my goodness, you have to get these. All right, if you don't have these, I will, if you get these and you don't want them, I'm taking them, okay? I love, love, love these oven mitts, all right? Um, with a thousand in sales, you're gonna get a set of two, okay? Because one is not enough, okay? Um, for 20 bucks, all right? So congratulations to everyone who's earned theirs already. And, Oops. Oh, I don't know why I don't have this. I don't have it here yet. Okay. But at 2000 sales this month, 
absolutely free. All right, maybe you pay a little bit of shipping. Okay, um, you're going to get the stock pot. All right, the seven quart. This is the largest of the new um, cookware set. I don't know about you guys, but I'm loving the universal cookware. So I'm getting this for free. My name is going to be on that list. <laughs> All right. So we're going to get, let uh, Jenny share a little bit about pressure. Okay. Pressure you might be experiencing, but you know what? Diamonds, diamonds are made from pressure. No struggle, no strength, guys. All right, Jenny, take it away. What do you got for us tonight? I have to find myself here. I can spotlight. <laughs> Something I've been trying to do for years. Here, I'll spotlight. There you go. Okay. <laughs> All right, great. So, um, so, you know, Loretta was talking a few minutes ago about not being afraid of the pressure cooker. And that's something we have to do in our lives too. You have to not be afraid of the pressure because a lot of times, um, you know, without pressure, there are things in our lives that we're just not going to accomplish because pressure will do one of two things. Even in nature, pressure does one of two things. It will either make something crumble completely to dust or it will help it harden and turn into some kind of beautiful diamond or stone or something like that. So a lot of it is just how you react. And that's what we have to do, okay? And everybody is under pressure, guys. We are not, you know, you are not unique in that situation. If you're under pressure, you are among 99.9% .9 of people in the world. It's just a matter of how much pressure or how the pressure is going in your life, okay? There's outside pressure for everybody. There's pressure from work. There's financial pressure, family pressure, pressure about health issues. I mean, you name it. And, and it's universal. Everybody has it in their life in some form or another. Then there's that internal pressure, okay? And we all do it to ourselves. There's the, it's, it's that, you know, it's the am I pressure? Am I good enough for this? Am I being a good enough parent? Am I being a good enough partner? Am I doing good enough at work? Am I exercising enough? Am I taking good enough care of my health? You know, and we all do it to ourselves. And then if that's not enough, okay, we have our family and friends that mean to be helpful. They really, really do. Okay. But they do this kind of pressure. Well, you're doing that to yourself. You're bringing that pressure on yourself. We already know this, okay? But, but they wanna bring it back up. They wanna bring it to our attention that we're putting that pressure on ourselves. Or, you know, if you do it the way I would tell you to, it wouldn't be like that. These, and, and these are the people that, that love us, you know, but they're trying to help us. So we've all been there. We've all had people say that to us. And let's be honest, we've all said it to the people that we love. We've all said it to people we care about. So it's not that people are not under pressure. What it is, it's how we handle the pressure that we're under. And what we have to do is um, we've got to watch those safety valves, just like the safety valves that are in the pressure cooker, you know, that. Tupperware put five safety valves on that pressure cooker. We have to give ourselves the, the safety valves in our lives to work with that kind of pressure. We have to give ourselves the outlets and, you know, look at things, especially with Tupperware, you've got to find ways to learn and grow through that pressure. Okay. And even more importantly, and this kind of helps with your pressure, you've got to help other people get through the pressure in their lives. Because if you're helping other people, you're going to find a way to work through it in yourself. Because a lot of times when you're helping somebody else, you look at yourself and think, oh, you know, I can work through it myself through the way that I am telling them that they can work through this. <laughs> okay. So, um, if you think back, when, and Ellen talked about this a lot that last week, and we put a lot of stuff in the comments about yourself before Tupperware, okay? What are some of the things that cause pressure in your life before Tupperware? Um, you know, maybe there was financial stress. Maybe there was just some mental stress that you couldn't handle some of the healthy things that were not so healthy in your life. Think about those things that have changed since you started in Tupperware. Um, 
you know, maybe you have more self-confidence now. Maybe you're eating better. Um, maybe you're cooking better or spending better family time. Um, you know, my kids are grown, but even since I've been in Tupperware, my kids are eating healthier than they ever did at home. And a lot of that has to do with some of the things that they have learned from some of the, from some of the products that we have in Tupperware that we never used whenever they were kids at home because we didn't have them. Um, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with teaching your grown kids better way to eat, uh, better ways to save money. Fridge smarts, all of my grown children use fridge smarts. We never had those at home. We threw all that stuff away when I bothered buying it. I, they lived on Little Debbie's. <laughs> but, you know, um, they enjoy spending time in the kitchen with their kids. They love it. And they cook. And they send me videos of them cooking with my grandchildren. I love that. And that is so much less pressure on them. They get to spend that family time doing things that we never did together. And I just, I love seeing that. Okay. So if you can think of those things and you can think of things that would help other people, how can you not share that guys? How can you not share those things that Tupperware has helped you in your life with other people? and give them a little bit of a release, okay? Help them release some of that pressure from their life by maybe just some healthier eating or saving a little bit of money. Share with them how they could make some money that would probably relieve some of that financial pressure in their families. You know, there's, there's nothing worse in a family, honestly, than there's, there can be all kinds of things going on in a family. There can be medical issues. There can be problems with the kids. There can be all kinds of things going on. But if there are financial issues, it is an underlying current that just, it, it, it just multiplies everything for some reason. You know, if you can help them get through some of that financial nonsense, it just kind of evens everything out. You know, we, we had been in situations where people were in the hospital, which is bad enough, but when somebody's in the hospital and you don't have the gas money to get to the hospital to that person, it just makes it worse. So if, if that's what you can help, how can you not help somebody see that you could help, you know, that you could, you could alleviate that. So that's the kind of thing I'm talking about. It's not a salesy thing. It's not you putting pressure on them to join your team, to sell Tupperware, to do this. It's you saying, listen, I can help you get through some of this stuff that doesn't have to be stressful for you. This does not have to put pressure on your life. This is something that can make it easier for you every day. And I want to help you because it's helped me. So it's just a way for you to help your friends, for you to help your old friends, for you to help new friends, might be a way for you to help friends you don't even know you have yet, okay? So, you know, don't let pressure crush your dreams and make them into dust, okay? Help that pressure make those dreams harder and bring them to like the diamond point in your life to where those are the things that are going to make your life and the lives of people that you know or that you meet just a better way to live. I love it. Thank you, Jenny. Yep. You can make that pressure make you dust or you can make that pressure turn you into diamonds. <laughs> it's true. It's true. I always uh, sing that song. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. That's it. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go back to our screens and see what we got next. All right. Thank you so much, Jenny, Jenny for sharing that. All right, what's next? Well, let's see who is helping other families, all right? Um, we have people earning their first uh, order, order reward where they joined us in week one and they got this entire set for $30. So congratulations to all of them that earned that. These are all new people, all right? Uh, congratulations to those that uh, joined a January, January first party. Oh, they've actually put a party in of $500 or more, okay? Um, so congratulations to Mara Pace. And then our hand-in-hand -hand award, those are the recruiters 
um, you help them put that first order in, okay? So this is called the hand in hand rewards, okay? So congratulations to everyone who has helped someone start their business. And then that's by helping one new person, yep. And then if you help two new people get started in their business by placing their first $40 award, uh, order. Uh, so congratulations, Allison, Jennifer, Jennifer, and Manel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, they help too. And then Manel has gone above and helped three new people already get started in their business. So congratulations, Manel, for earning her um, her uh, stock pot here for 40 bucks. Man, that's cool. All right, let's see, did we do this? Oh, Manel, you've helped six or more people um, start their business already. So congratulations, Manel. She has done it all, all right? So up to six, you're gonna get an award at one, two, three. And then again at six, guys, she are already earned it all by just helping that next person. So congratulations, Manel. All right, let's see who our personal recruiters with um, in week two of February are. Oh, yay, I did one. <laughs> congratulations. Uh, number three, Jenny, congratulations with two. Number two, Julie Jackson with three. This is so funny. <laughs> Way to go. What do you think number one had? Let's see. Number one is Manel Franklin with seven. She just, she keeps sharing that Tupper love. Congratulations, Manel. And then unit recruiting, all our managers are up. We have Julie Jackson with three. Congratulations, Julie. Way to go. And then we have team recruiting. Those are our director teams. That's my team. That's Jenny's team with two, Gina's team with three, and Manel's team with seven. Congratulations. Our org recruiting. Yay, way to go, Manel, with seven. I think there's more. Oh, it went backwards. <laughs> I was like, wait, <laughs> there's others. I know I have them. Uh, congratulations, Rainbows with four. Jenny's um, uh, team with uh, org with two. And Ellen's uh, org with two. All right. Congratulations, guys. I don't know, guys. I think we need to bump up these numbers a little bit, right? They seem kind of low. We are champions. All right. We need to share that tougher love. Um, so there is a challenge right now for all director teams to have 14 new team members by the 14th, okay? And so right now in the lead uh, for the whole month of February is Manel Franklin with 20 already hitting their 14. I'm thinking she should go for double, which is 28 or more. She'll probably triple it, okay? Um, so that this all ends on Monday. Um, the Rainbows are at six. Jenny's team is at five. Sonia's team is at five. Gina, four. Jessica, three. Christy, two. Lori, two. Amy, two. Ellen, Deb, Pam, Nicole, Nikki, uh, Mel, and Mary are all at one. So, guys, let's pump it up. Let's pump it up. Let's show that tougher love. I'm going to just dare you to share. Share once a day. Somebody chat with on Facebook. Somebody, a neighbor. Somebody you go hang out with at the coffee shop or at the gym or um, another mom in a mom group or when you're in the line picking up your kid from school I'm just gonna dare you just share just share just tell them this crazy lady dared me <laughs> all right guys more training more learning for you hopefully tonight you've gotten some great tips um, some new ideas on the pressure cooker some new features and benefits that maybe you didn't realize before um, and um, uh, there was something else I was going to add about the pressure curve, but I can't remember now. But anyway, <laughs> but more training by your Hot Shots region, okay? Uh, we are going to be coming up on one of our biggest months. That's the month of May. And so in uh, April, April 9th, mark your calendars. All right. Uh, more details are coming, but it will be April 9th. That's a Saturday, I believe, uh, from 10 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. So a couple hours for you to learn and grow, be recognized. So um, I believe they're recognizing for February and March. Okay, so wouldn't that be fun for champions to take over that list? You know what I'm talking about, okay? If you've been watching these, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's make this happen. Mark your calendars now and watch for the post. Though more info will be coming soon, but we wanted you to have a head start. All right, just remember guys, diamonds. Diamonds are made under pressure. Stay calm and let's bring it on this month, okay? Let's say, uh, let's show Pam the Tupper love. So what else we gotta do, Jenny? Did I miss anything, any other drawings or anything like that? I have to unmute. Um, we have to do a share the shine drawing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and um, Angela, do you have any guests from on here? Okay, we didn't have any first time guests on 
champion on the on the team page either, but we do have to do an attendance drawing once we get the share the shine drawing. I have to find my thing again. So and while she's looking for that, you all know share the shine, share, share a tip, share an idea, share a recipe you made, um, and hashtag it share the shine February, right? They have to add the month on there. So every month you're in a new drawing. They right? do. And the way we find those is I put in the search hashtag share the shine. So if you haven't put that on there, I can't find it. Yep. And you all you I, want. <laughs> I love you all madly, but I am not going through every post on champion looking for those. So you have to put hashtag share the shine <laughs> February. That's right. Me. Okay. And we have quite a few this month and we need some more because the last week of the month, if you win, you get to pick your logo thing and you get to pick it out of all the logo stuff that Pam has. So you want to, you want to win that one and you have to get in the early of the month to be able to do that. So this week's winner for Pam Swag is Melissa Wetterall. All right, Melissa, way to go. Is she on tonight, Jenny? I don't think so. I think she just got done working. I'm sure you'll tell her, right? <laughs> I might mention it. Let's all right, lots of that. great tips here tonight. Guys, I was going to show you real quick since we got a second here. Um, I'm going to go, where am I going to go? I'm going to get out of here. Come on. Nope. Oh, oh no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I'm going to go into Facebook really quick. Um, if you're not part of the champion um, uh, group, this is the name of the group. Can you guys see that? Am I sharing? Nope. I'm not sharing. What's happening? You're not. Because I have to click share. <laughs> All right, <laughs> this is your um, your champion. It's called Tupperware Pressure Cooker with Champion. All right, because there's a bunch of other ones out there, but this is the champion group here. And you guys see, I mean, you don't have to be a consultant. They can post here. They're posting recipes they made. They got pictures out here. You can go into the um, albums. Okay, go up here to media, go into albums. And then you've got your uh, pressure cooker recipes right here, okay? And so you've got a ton to choose from, okay? So this is a great group to add your customers to. Um, it's not a group for anyone to sell. This is a group for everybody to share what they make and, um, and really help us all, okay? All right, guys. Um, I think there was something else. Oh, the other thing that Jenny was talking about, if you go to Champion and uh, share the shine, let's see, the Champion. Is, there, is you do it in the search here or just in the in the bar up here? Just in the shirt search, the little right. yep, right there. All right, she's gonna she's gonna hashtag share. Oops, if I can spell. Did I spell February right? There, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and see, everyone that used this hashtag is gonna pop up. There they are. That hashtag, it's not gonna pop up. All right, guys. So. Let's share the shine. That's just uh, everyone working together. So I just wanted to share that really quick with everybody um, where the group was and where to find it. And we also have a grill group. We have a stack cooker group, right? We have a, a master group where all the great master and all that kind of stuff is. So there are lots of other groups that Champion has that you can share with your customers. So I wanna thank you, thank you all for being on. And since we have 28 on, we're gonna do a drawing, right, Jenny? Yep, we're gonna do one. All right, so these are the people that are on Zoom. <laughs> Super important that you get your address to Pam within 24 hours. Once right. you, if you win any kind of ahas or anything tonight, guys. Right, yeah. Don't forget Monday, you've got your leaders calls. You've got hot topics. Uh, Tuesday, you've got your cooking. What's cooking? What's the theme for Tuesday? I forget. I knew this. I think Angela's doing cookware, isn't she? Yes, yeah. she's uh, Guys, Angela is the pro. She was even on tv uh new day cleveland I, I think i have that video saved <laughs> um sharing our cookware so you don't want to miss angela sharing cookware <laughs> for sure all right jenny get, am i doing the number or are you doing a number um i can do the number how many do we have 28 right now 29 right now okay alexa give me a random number between one and 29 Five. Five. You have to count people though. I'm counting one. Okay. That is Nancy Lagan. All right. Congratulations, Nancy. You want some Pam swag. <laughs> Thank you all for being on. If you guys just, you know, if you missed any part of this, please go back, watch the replay. 
hashtag replay. Let us know you watched it. Um, and, uh, you know, your directors work really hard to bring you some great training so we can help you all grow. All right, guys, have a great Thursday. Wrap up the week. Get ready for the big sale tomorrow. All right, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Loretta, you have to go off Facebook Live to end it there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Take it from me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> all right. I'm going to turn this all off. So, bye, guys. Bye, guys. Good <laughs> <Not> tonight. <laughs>